saw a great question this morning in the eLearning Heroes forums from a Quizmaker user, and here was the problem that she was running up against. She was using an ungraded survey question type called a short answer question. It looks something like this, where the learner sees this little data entry field, and they can enter their answer to kind of a free response type of question. Well, everything is working fine, but the problem that she was having is that sometimes learners would enter a little bit of text in the field, and then they would want to enter some more text on a new line or in a new paragraph. But the issue was whenever they hit the Enter key, they immediately see the feedback for this question. Quizmaker assumes that they're done, displays the feedback, and then moves them right on in the question lineup of the quiz or the survey. So if this is happening to you, here's what you can do. The reason that this happens is because the short answer question type is really designed to collect about a line's worth of text from your learner. Okay, so it's really not meant for multiple paragraphs, and that's why the enter key um, moves them right on to the feedback and you know continues on in the quiz. So if this is happening, what you can do instead of using a short answer question is use a different question type called an essay question. It's also an ungraded survey question, and you can get to it by hitting survey question up here in the toolbar and then choose essay from the list over here at the left. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. And you can enter your question just like you would for a short answer question. But what you might want to do is switch to slide view because you'll notice that the data entry field for this type of question is really big. And you might not want it to look this big or it might not fit with your slide design. So what you can do is change the dimensions of this data entry field to whatever you want. So we'll just go ahead and shrink this up a little bit so it resembles the short answer question type that we were looking at a minute ago. And now if we preview this, what happens is if the learner does want to enter a little bit more than just one line of text, if they hit the enter key, they go right to the next line. They can enter another line and then they can move on. And if they continue to enter more lines of text, see how the scroll bar appears over here so they can go up or down to review what they wrote and get back to any text that they've previously entered. So if you're encountering some issues with that short answer question, using an essay question might clear that up for you.